All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Mask and Helmet mod, which is being made by user AdShield. And what this cute, glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the iconic Russian Mask and Helmet into the Commonwealth, and this thing is magnificent and has, as you can see by all the mannequins I had to make earlier, a lot of options for this mod, which is always good to see. And as for the helmet itself, it is just a fun helmet, and despite being, well, you know, a helmet made for the Russian military in the 90s and used by Russian Spetnaz forces, it very much does look like something that we could and frankly should be seeing in the Commonwealth or the, just the Wasteland in general, as it's basically just a motorcycle helmet with a plate of steel on the front. It seems like something that raiders might make, and I quite like it here. So let's take a look at what we do get stat-wise for the Masca Helmet. Now, being a helmet, not a whole lot of stats, of stats to go over. There's the sentence. But we do have 25 physical damage resist on this thing, 5 energy damage resist, all for a fairly hefty weight of 10, which, what do you expect for a big old hunk of steel? But what a hunk of steel it is! They did quite nicely on both the modeling and texturing for this thing. Despite the fact that there's not exactly like a whole lot of details you could add in to a mask and helmet, it's a fairly simple thing, but it does look the part. And, you know, looks like every picture I've ever seen of a mask and helmet, and does have what few details that should exist do. And that's always quite nice. Now, as for modifications on this thing, oh boy, as, again, as you saw with all the mannequins, there's a lot. First and foremost, you've got 32 different paint jobs for this thing, so you can change it up for the different factions, there's also a lot of Russian words, and even a whole lot of memes, most of which I don't understand or get. Now we can also change up the physical appearance with the visor by either having it the default down, have it up to see to see your face, or just remove the visor altogether, which I don't understand why you would do that. That's kind of like the um, whole point of a mask and helmet is to have that iconic steel visor. But hey, if you don't want it there and you just want a motorcycle helmet, well then there you go, you can do it. Now as for how you do get your hands on one of these lovely things, it's pretty darn simple. Now sadly you won't find them in the world through the level loot list, but you can go to any chemistry station in the Commonwealth and head on down to the new mask and helmet category to build it for just a simple two adhesive, two cloth, and six steel. So you can pretty much make this thing from the very get-go of the game and have a lovely helmet to protect your skull. Good times. Now let's go take a look at the modifications we do have, and besides the uh, all the different aesthetic options, we do also get for this thing Ballistic Weave. It always saddens me when modded in armors don't add in this category, so thank god they do have it here. And of course you can add up to Mark V Ballistic Weave, giving this thing a whole heck of a lot more damage resistance to keep your brain inside of your skull. And that is a good thing, frankly. Now on the visors, again, you have the option of either down, off, or up. And then in the materials, as mentioned, you've got the different faction colors. You've got a number of different words like death and duty written in Russian. And then a whole lot of meme things, which again, I don't get most of them. I don't understand most memes these days. But still, a lot of great options. And some of them will actually even uh, change up the look of the visor, as you can see on like this renegade one. Uh, the helmet gets a bit more dented up at the top, and there's a hole in your visor, which is pretty cool that some of them do change it up a little bit more from, you know, the sort of just standard looking perfectly fine and dandy mask and helmet. So yeah, it's a pretty fun little mod. I do quite like it. And again, we just get so many great options. Some of them kind of weird me out like this one, but a lot of them are pretty great. And again, I do like the ones that make it look a little bit more beat up as it just adds a little bit more character to the whole thing. But yeah, all in all, we just got a lot of fun options, whether you want to go something a bit more realistic or, well, <laughs> want some pierogies, or, you know, go with a raider sort of thing. There's a gunner one in here somewhere. There's just a lot of fun stuff. 
So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But yeah, really nothing more to talk about with this thing. It's just a fun iconic Russian helmet for you to enjoy. So uh, yeah, do definitely go take a look at it, but I hope you have enjoyed this episode today and you come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, well, have a good one.